It's another beautiful afternoon here at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in Louisiana. Breeze throws deep down the field into double coverage and Fleener makes the catch and is gone. Touchdown, New Orleans Saints. On an offset eye, Duke Johnson, the running back. Robert Griffin surveys, takes off and runs and dives across touchdown, Cleveland Browns. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the NFL Season Simulation. We begin week number seven with the Pittsburgh Steelers hosting a club that's red hot as of late. Four straight wins for the New England Patriots. They take on an offense that eh, ain't too shabby either. Number one in passing, number one in scoring. Can't do a whole lot better than that. The Steelers open up with back-to-back -back drives that are right near the red zone, but Roethlisberger intercepted Malcolm Butler grabs it in the end zone for his first INT of the year, and the Patriots respond with a time-consuming drive that is capped off with a 23-yard touchdown grab for Deion Lewis. And the Patriots take the field goal lead into the third quarter. Martellus Bennett, the former Chicago Bear, scores for the Patriots his first touchdown of the year. That's it. Ben Roethlisberger going for it all again, intercepted by Logan Ryan. Ben Roethlisberger finishes with three interceptions on the day. A rugged performance for him. The Steelers drop their first home game of the year, but it's to a team that's pretty darn good. They may face him in the playoffs in January. We continue week number seven with a look at the AFC East between the Bills and the Dolphins. Buffalo has not made the playoffs for 16 straight seasons. They've got an opportunity though to hop above 500 and contest with the Patriots for the top spot in that division. Second quarter with the Dolphins reclaiming the lead, Tannehill completing one of only five passes, the lowest of his career when attempting more than five passes. Nevertheless, despite the ineptitude, we're tied at 24 in the fourth quarter. Tyrod Taylor trying to engineer a drive, and he does indeed cap it off as LaShawn McCoy scores for the Bills. Buffalo up by a touchdown. Ryan Tannehill trying to counter with a touchdown himself, but throws a very bonehead interception to Corey Graham, one of his four on the day. It would lead to a Buffalo field goal, and just for icing on the cake, Stephon Gilmore intercepts. That'll seal the deal. His 10th career INT. The Bills outscore the Dolphins 20 to nothing in the final seven minutes. Buffalo now four and three. Miami falls to two and five. We take a look at week seven scores. Green Bay improves the six and zero with their win over division rival Chicago. And Tampa Bay picks up win number one as they defeat San Francisco 28 to 14. The NFL is in continuing to try and expand their brand to other countries. This is one of the four games this year that will be played not in the United States. As from Wembley Stadium in London, England, the Bengals and the Redskins tangle. The Bengals have not lost to the Redskins since September of 91. Looks like they're going to continue that streak at least early as Ray Maluga intercepts and then Dalton finds A.J. Green for an eight-yard touchdown toss and the Bengals lead by a score. In the third quarter, Dalton yet again with another masterful drive. He finds Tyler Eifert, then on third and nine, Dalton to five foot nine receiver Mario Alford from West Virginia. One of his two touchdown tosses and the Bengals now lead by 14 to start the fourth quarter. The Redskins who have struggled for ages on the offensive side, well they get things going finally in the fourth quarter as Kirk Cousins completes to a very good tight end. Jordan Reed is in the end zone and we're at a score ball game. It was back and forth, interceptions both ways, but then the Bengals would buckle down a couple third down conversions. This one, a run from Jeremy Hill seals the deal and the Bengals secure this win, improving to five and three. Victors by the final, 17 to 10. This matchup seems to bring the absolute best out of both football teams. The four and two Dallas Cowboys host the three and three Philadelphia Eagles. Well, early in the first half, it would be all Dallas here at home as the Cowboys would score on two touchdowns to Terrence Williams. He only had one touchdown all of this season coming in. Cowboys, who have lost three straight to this team at home, are looking to end that streak tonight. Cowboys 14, Philadelphia 3, before Bradford finds Zach Ertz for his second touchdown grab of the year. And the Eagles are back into it, down but not out, trailing by a field goal late in the fourth. Bradford trying to engineer a long drive, throws to the sideline, but is picked off by Morris Claiborne. 
his first interception in two years, and that nearly seals the deal for the Cowboys. Eagles have got one more opportunity with just 11 seconds left. Bradford's throw on fourth and 10 near the end zone, incomplete, and that will officially do it. Well, Dallas is not only the division's best team, but are also one of only four teams in the NFL to score 20 points in every game this season. Impressive campaign so far for Dallas as we take a look at other Week 8 performances. The Seahawks defeating the Saints and Carolina narrowly defeating Arizona. Put a quick little pause button on the screen to take a look at the standings after week number eight as we see division leaders on the left, everybody else on the right. Coming up on the next edition of NFL Season Simulation, it's the matchup we've been waiting all year for. The New England Patriots at 6-2 and, and the Seattle Seahawks at 7-1. They will match up in a Super Bowl rematch. We'll see you then.